Okay, well, I've, I've been real captivated by this Jewel Thief circuit, and I'm waiting for a toroid uh, ferrite core to build a, um, a big one like uh, Slayer and um, Bodkins have built. So anyway, I, I fiddled around with something else today um, in the last couple of days. I took the Jewel Thief circuit and uh, played with it using a different kind of coil, and I came up with an inverted Jewel Thief circuit that uses a um, ferrite rod with three coils on it and basically turned it into an inverter. And it's the Jewel Thief circuit basically with three extra parts. There's two capacitors and an extra resistor. And then of course there's the extra winding up here that runs the CFL. And this is the breadboard right here. And um, what I've added is a couple of little uh, uh, 47 pico, or 0 .047 picofarad caps, and uh, this is a 20 ohm resistor basically right here. It's running off uh, 1, 2, and 3055, and then the uh, 10K wire wound uh, potentiometer with a 100 ohm resistor. It's just going straight off the battery, 12 volts, and then. Uh, I've got the charging part here, which is what Slayer uh, and I both have been using, where it comes off the collector. And I'm just putting it into a cap right here to show what's going on. But uh, let me turn this on and show you. The little jewel thieves are absolutely wonderful. They, they run for a long, 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 long time. And uh, that uh, item right there uh, with this big fluorescent light is quite something. And it, let me turn this on. I'll show you. But there's a amp draw. There is a. Let me show you. That is. There's the uh, voltage on the cap right there, and there's a um, amp draw. Nothing going on right there. Let me turn this on. This is about a hundred watt bulb here. Okay, now if you'll notice right here, you can see that this bulb is glowing. Okay, the cap right now is loading up. It's 20 volts. I'm going to turn it off here and let this build. And that cap's going to build on up. I'm going to let it build on up to about 30 volts here. Let me crank this up a bit. There, there the CFL just popped on. I'm at about 32 volts. I'm going to let this go on up to about 33. Build this on up here. And there's a reason for it. When this cap builds up to a high enough voltage, the CFL will stay on um, at a lower amp draw. Now I'm drawing right now. I'm drawing uh, about an amp. And I don't have the voltage hooked up. I'll show you the voltage. There's voltage on the battery. It's about uh, 12 and a half. A CFL is on, but it's going to pop on really bright here. And it, the camera is going to overcompensate for the brightness, but watch this happen. There it goes. Boom. Now that's on full brightness. Now the camera has compensated for that. Let me dial it down to about an amp. Now I'm going to go around and turn off all the lights in here. And this is going to show you what this is like with a bright CFL in a room. And that's one light in this room. That's, like I said, about a 100 watt light bulb. And I don't have anything on in here at all. This camera is not compensating very well. But uh, that is on very, very, very bright. And let me turn something else on so the camera won't be overcompensated here. Turn on a little bit more light. Yeah, that, that helps a little bit. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what was going on with this new circuit that I, I fiddled with. 
and like I say, it's a jewel thief circuit, but it's running on an extra winding on this ferrite uh, uh, bar. It's uh, the standard uh, 20 turns, um, 10 turns each on the primary, and then the secondary, or uh, double secondary, I guess it is, is 450 turns on top of that. And that's where you get the high voltage to make the big, the big light. And anyway, there's cap voltage right there. If you can see that, that's uh, 39 volts on the cap. Now watch what happens if I turn the cap on and bleed off the juice on it. There goes the bulb. The bulbs, that's going to start to go down because I'm taking away the voltage on this cap. And there it goes. I'm going to turn this back off, let that cap build back up again. By the way, this voltage right here, uh, what you would be doing is you'd put it in the battery over here. You'd just shoot it across. But uh, what I'm finding out is I'm having difficulty having the CFL stay on while I'm charging the battery, so there would have to be something done about that. Let me turn this up a bit. Just to pop back on. At about 30 volts there, the light will stay on bright. But uh, the one thing I do like about this um, ferrite bar as opposed to the toroid, it doesn't make any noise. It's not whining at all. The toroids have a tendency to sing. And you can put a magnet on them or whatever, but they sing. So this one doesn't make any noise. And like I said, it runs about an amp. You got about an amp out of it. That's just about the way this thing runs. You can dial it down to a little less than that. There it goes down. You start to lose some of your light when you do that. It's like about an amp. But anyway, real quick once again, I added a couple of these caps in the circuit. And it's just a standard Jewel Thief circuit. There's the Jewel Thief. And basically I added a couple of caps and a resistor here at the base and then of course the third winding, the 450 extra windings on top of the uh, the other two windings and they're uh, same turns, they're 10 each on the primary and secondary this is the third, third winding going up here but anyway that's my latest, that was my latest project with the bright light on the CFL circuit